Well, I just finished uh, my nine mile bike ride to get to the trailhead and uh, hopefully my legs won't be too wobbly to hike the nine miles back. We'll see. Here's the sign that shows distances. It's got Rapids campsite. I think we'll stop there. That's just a tenth of a mile away. Gordon Dam County Park. Stucky Road, 6.7. That would be about two-thirds of the way. I have to remember that. This here is the Moose River. And uh, it uh, flows right over here somewhere. It flows right into the St. Croix. I don't know if you can... I think that you can see the confluence right there. All right, well, let's get going. Well, here's the turn to that... Oops. Did you hear that? Scared up a bird. Uh, here's the turn to the Scott Rapids campground. I think this campground is shared with the people canoeing down the river. Not too many on this time of the year, but wow. This is very nice. Look at the tables right near the water. Man, this is really pretty. Yeah, this would be a great place to stop and have lunch or just enjoy a snack. All right, I got to a spot where I'm behind a tree so the sun isn't in my eyes. Maybe I can get some good pictures of them. Nice. Well, I'm pretty excited to get back on the trail after that 32-mile uh, road walk. It took me several trips to get that finished. I did enjoy the road walk, but uh, nothing better than being on trail. Coming up to a nice view of the river here. It's a beautiful day. Got some good current going there for this time of the year. Huh. It'd be pretty fun to go down that and kayak, huh? Well, look at here, a cabin or a house. It's all boarded up. Another picnic table, but it's ready for a snack would be a good spot but it's early in the hike and I'm just not tired yet let's go see what that sign says in there Price. no overnight stay huh well, let's leave my stick out here and see if we can take a look at it Pretty dark, but I guess the camera's seeing better than I am. Huh. Yeah. Well, I'm not going to go upstairs or anything like that. I just thought I'd take a look inside. It was a fun cabin for somebody for a while, I suppose. Let's get back on the trail. Wow, look at this root mass. Holy buckets. I guess it's got more than one tree involved. Let's see if we can see what's on the other side here. Yeah, there's a great big tree down there. That's probably the one that started it. Not much uh, grip on the swamp, I guess. Oh, I almost stepped off the boardwalk. Gotta be careful of that. Well, I'm back by the river again. Looks a lot calmer here. Still got a pretty good current going. You can hear the rapids down that way. But more of a lazy river here. I don't know if we'll get back to the river or not, so might be our last view of it. Well, I'm thinking that's that a bear was in here. Had it go right on the trail, didn't he? 
I'm glad I saw him didn't step in that. Just in case you're wondering, I did uh, find a stick and go back and clear that scat off the trail so the next person doesn't accidentally step in it. Starting to be a little different uh, look here. Now it's just these aspen with a, a lone uh, pine or what is that? I don't know. Spruce or whatever it is. Now we got a sign coming up. Let's go see what it is. Huh. All right, let's go. Sometimes they say what year they were built. Nice. Here's a little plaque this may say when. Huh, 2008. Looks newer than that. Well, maybe this part is that old and the ridge is newer. Well, you know, I'm always on the lookout for a nice white pine. Look at this baby. Whoa. That's got to be like three feet thick. An old one. I wonder how that escaped the saw. Well, it looks like we're coming to the edge of a big wetland here. It's kind of, the sun is kind of deceiving. It almost seems like it's getting towards sunset, but it's only 20 after 12. Gotten to be more pine forest and I just walked through and oh, it looks like more deciduous, although there's some big red pines. I'm not sure if they were planted though. Sometimes they seem like they're in a row. But anyway, it's beautiful in here. Kind of cool. I mean, it's, it's a warm day, but uh, in the in the dark forest it's a little cooler than out in the sun that's for sure well this area seems a lot more barren than i would have expected and it looks like there's some oak scrub oak trying to come up maybe maybe this was all logged and it just never came back or or it's just a big Savannah Makes for some long views, that's for sure Well, I'm guessing this is Stucky Road here If it is that means I've gone 6.7 miles I guess that math comes out right Bird Road that's uh, Not too far from crossing where I crossed Bird Road is where I'm parked so, probably got about 2.7 miles to go. And maybe we'll see Rover's Lake campsite in a mile. Let's take a look at that. Well, here's the campground. Bench overlooking the lake. Beautiful view. Oh. Very nice. I guess you had to get your water when you're down there walking around the lake, but other than that, this is this is great. Well, I just crossed uh, Bird Road a little while back, and here's the uh, bird trail to my truck, and here's where the North Country Trail continues. So, I'll say so long for today, and uh, thanks for coming along. See you next time. Thank you.